Hello, my name is George, and today we're going to be learning about photosynthesis. Synthesis, you really only need to know two things. Well, two categories of things. So you're going to know what you need to know a lot. But I'm going to make it as interesting as possible. It is photosynthesis. Uh, there's light independent reactions. Now, these can take place in the dark, so we call them dark reactions. And then there's light dependent reactions, or light reactions, because they need. Light, that's right, you're very smart, I like that. Um, okay, so in my scenario, there's a club, and the club is called PS2, like the gaming system. I'm just kidding, it's like the photo system too. And that's a, okay, so in, in their big uh, chlorophyll city, the city of chlorophyll, there's, uh, there's little clubs, or discs, and these clubs are called Thylakoids, but this particular club is called Photosystem. Do 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 do. Can't make a voice effect, but just imagine I said do 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 do. Yeah, you know that. It, never mind. Um, this particular club is called Photosystem Two, and at this club there's a bouncer, right? He's trying to get as many people in the club, but he's not trying to blow the ratio because that would be bad. Don't blow the ratio if you're a bouncer. Get more money. Get more want money. Um, and he sees this guy. He's pretty cool. He's a photon. And he lets him in. He doesn't realize that the club is already pretty full because he's bad at his job and he's blowing the ratio. And this photon gets in the club and he sees that it's pretty full. And he thinks that it's going to be fine, but it's not. Because two people are eyeing him from across the room. These two people are electrons and they're not having any of that. So they leave. They get on a reaction center molecule, which is a bus. And they drive that bus on the only route it takes, the electron transport chain. Now, the electron transport chain, we can go into a lot of stuff about where specifically it goes and which routes it takes. And does it turn le right at Thylakoid Avenue or does it turn left at other Thylakoid Avenue, etc., etc. Get it? Because electron transport chain, it's etc. Bad, bad joke. Um, Back in the club, because we're not done with the club. So, the bouncer now sees that the club is underpopulated. He needs to get more people in this club now! So you know what he does? He sees three people outside. They're in a group. And he sees two hydrogen. He's like, we need some more hydrogen in there. So, he takes them in the club. And as the third person, Oxygen, is entering, he, he stops him. Because Oxygen is not the kind of person you want in a club kind of rowdy, kind of makes the whole experience worse for everyone else, if you know what I mean. So he leaves the oxygen on the outside and says, if a spot opens up, we'll let you in. And oxygen is just going to stay there, unless he finds another oxygen. In that case, they're just going to go home and party as O2. They have two oxygens. Okay. Now, that was pretty... Yes. But to give you a better idea of what happens... Here is water, which is the two hydrogen and the oxygen. This is their group of three. There's just a bunch of them. And this is what happens when they enter a club. Has it happened yet? Oh my god, did you see that? How it was full of... Yeah, you, it's pretty obvious I cut that together. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's jump back with those two electrons. Now these two electrons are riding the ETC, and they're bumming, they're chilling. They, they want to get to that next club, their energy's kind of low, and you know what? This hydrogen gets on the bus, and they pull this hydrogen in the bus. You might say they pump this hydrogen into the bus, and they're hanging out with this hydrogen, and this hydrogen was good, just going to stay on the bus, but you know what? He doesn't. He's energized now, he's with these two electrons, and so he gets off the bus at the gym, and he goes to the gym to get on a workout bike. You know those workout bikes with like, they're, they're not plugged into the wall, so you have, to, you have to pedal them, and then they turn on because the electricity from your feet, well, that's what this guy does. This hydrogen turns that workout bike and gets that electricity. Now we're going to imagine that electricity is stored in a battery. We're going to call that battery ATP, because that gym, 
was not any ordinary gym, ladies and gentlemen. That gym was ATP Sensei Central. Now, at ATP Sensei Central, they do have a hunk of lift, but they, more importantly, change ADP, boring old ADP energy, or what the hydrogen has, into important ATP batteries. Now, ATP batteries are very important in the dark reactions. So we're just going to keep that battery in our list of stuff we have from photosynthesis. Moving on. These two electrons, you know, they're happy that they help this hydrogen, but they, it tires them out. They, they want to party, but there's nowhere to party. So they go to the second club, Photosystem 1. Now there's a reason it's called Photosystem 1, because it's the number one club in the city. It gets everyone so hyped. When they enter this photosystem one, they get hit by a photon, and they get jazzed up. They get so energetic. They're like, oh, I'm going to punch through a wall. And then they punch through a wall, and they didn't even know it was a cinder block wall. And then they're bleeding. But don't worry about that, because they're fine. And so, you know, now they hop on another bus. they got to go home. they got to burn this energy. they got to burn this energy. And so they hop on another bus, and on the other bus, they meet a guy. And his name is NADP. Now, NADP is kind of a downer, right? He's had a long day at work. He's been working at Phylocoid Central all day. He, he's just pooped. So he's going home on the bus, wants to chill at his home. They're not having any of that. These two electrons want to excite him. And so they do. They make him from boring old NADP into NADPH. And the H is for extra exciting and hydrogen also. All right. Now we have all our components. We have a hyped NADPH and an uh, ATP battery. And when you combine them, you get the Calvin cycle. Okay, so the Calvin cycle is not, one thing you have to understand, I'm just gonna pause this video right here. This is not happening how I describe it. Imagine there's like 80,000 electrons that are doing the same thing as these two electrons are on the bus. This is constantly happening. Okay, so this, unpause. This Calvin cycle is really cool. So what happens is in the city street, there are the homeless. And the homeless, or the CO2, are just bumming around in the city streets. And then they meet up with a really nice lady called Rubisco. Now, Rubisco has a lot of money, and so these homeless like her. And they give her a lot of money, they clean up the homeless, they shine them up with their elbow, you know, nice old grease. And then... Then they split, and they make really unstable together. It's like in a divorce where you lose half your stuff. Well, Rubisco lost half her stuff, and the homeless CO2 got half her stuff, so they're even now, right? And then this power battery, the ATP, and this guy, they go help out the homeless. They, they help out these two even things, these three carbon molecules, and they turn them into one of the coolest things about photosynthesis. They turn them into G, my, my name starts with G, very dear letter to my heart, 3P. Now, G3P, you get two of them, you make a glucose, just like that. That's sugar, like that. Really, really cool. But, yeah, it's not that simple. Because they make two G3P, but they need five G3P to make one Rubisco and start the cycle again. So you know what happens? They have to run the cycle three times. You know, two GTP, four GTP, six GTP. That's three times. And then five of those, five of those GTP have to go and make a new Rubisco. One of those GTP, G3P. Sorry, my bad. One of those G3P gets to go down here and hang out. Gets to bum around. Gets to hang out by himself, waiting for another G3P. And then that happens again. Two, four. Six, Rubisco, and now you have two G3P. When these two G3P happen, they form together, they make one glucose. That glucose goes by itself. If it's added to fructose, it can make sucrose, and then the plant is happy with that sucrose. Okay, it loves that sucrose. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much all I have to say about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Oh, also, no, that's it. I'll take any questions, get it, because I don't have to answer any of them, because it's a video. Yeah. I'm not actually holding it in no card, but we're done.